It's been four days since Liquid arrived in the area. And since then, this woman's been with him. She doesn't look like a combatant. Probably some kind of advisor. Maybe a scientist. So, you're the commander of this O-1 unit. Why? Something wrong with that? Here, I'll introduce you to the team. That's Ed, our radio man and sniper. The sleeping giant is Jonathan. <clears throat> Don't stand behind him. He hates it when people go around his back. Finally, Johnny. Everybody just calls him Akiba. Commander, I've finished installing the sensors. <sighs> okay, Akiba. Anyway. Maybe it's because someone taught me well. A certain legendary hero who suddenly disappeared. Uh. You quit the unit. Me? <laughs> I never gave up on you. Or on Foxhound. Back then, I just wanted you to accept me. I wanted you to turn around and see who I was. But I've put the past behind. I'm done playing little love games. So, what are you here for? Threat assessment. The PMCs. Really? Because I heard a rumor there's an assassin out there targeting their leader. Well, that's some rumor. I'm only here because the UN wants me to assess the impact and effects of PMCs on their refugee protection efforts. That's all? More than enough for a retired vet like me. I know he's plotting an insurrection. But as long as AT Security's system is in place, there's no way he'll succeed. How can you be so sure? They've implemented a system that monitors in real time every single soldier engaged in combat action, whether he's state army or PMC. Each individual soldier has been fully ID tagged with nanomachines injected into their bodies for that purpose. The nanomachines keep track of the soldiers and their real time personal data 24 hours a day. They monitor each man's position, movement speed, reserve ammo, firing accuracy, wounds, rations, water intake and supply, sweat secreted, heart rate, blood pressure and sugar levels, oxygen. All the data gathered on body condition, on sensory organ data showing pain and fear, data on every internal response within the body. All of it is collected by an AI at the system's core. This data is monitored at HQ to enable command to make quicker, more precise, more rational decisions. It also enables crisis management for each individual soldier. It's being used by the U.S. military, by state armies and allied countries, by PMCs. Even police agencies are starting to adopt it. Unless they agree to implement the system, PMCs aren't permitted to send troops anywhere. You've got these system nanomachines and you too. Of course. Our unit plays by the rules, same as everybody else. It was creepy at first, knowing you're being watched 24-7, but I've gotten used to it. It gives us a lot of advantages in the field, too. We get a clearer picture of what's going on around us, so there's less confusion during missions. And our nanomachines communicate with each other, making teamwork a lot smoother. And that's not all the system does for us. It's also a security guarantee against the PMCs. 
Security guarantee. That's right. The PMCs are combat groups without states or ideologies. They're not fighting out of nationalism or for a cause. They don't care why the war is being fought. They're just bodies fighting on someone else's behalf. They're mercenaries, a commodity. So it's easy to imagine them betraying their clients by joining the enemy or refusing to fight or committing humanitarian atrocities. To keep these things in check, they ensured that no one can use firearms or military vehicles without the proper system ID. It's true for every piece of equipment out there. So even if the PMCs tried to mount a terrorist attack or coup d'etat, their weapons and equipment would automatically be locked out. They wouldn't be able to move, attack, or engage in combat of any kind. And there's more. All the data on their position, personnel, and combat strength is leaked to us by the nanomachines. Even if they managed to circumvent the system by getting the nanomachines out of each soldier's body, they'd be losing their IDs in the process, so they couldn't use their weapons. And the Patriots are behind this. Lanelule Lo, what are you talking about? Never mind. So this system is foolproof, huh? Completely. They call it SOP. Sons of the Patriots. The AI that controls it is a tightly guarded secret, both at Arms Tech Security, where it was developed, and at the Pentagon. There's no way a third party could get control of it. I just met a guy who said he can launder ID guns. The system does have holes. <laughs> there can't be more than a few hundred of those gun launderers. It's just a grassroots movement. It's not like they can affect the entire PMC war machine. Anyway. Liquid would have had to register as a PMC in the system to assemble an army that massive. His PMCs might even exceed the US military in terms of numbers, but as long as they're registered, their soldiers' activities are constantly being monitored. So long as the US responds immediately when Liquid makes his move, we can take them down by force. By force, huh? When Arsok heard about Liquid's plans, they sent us to sniff around the PMCs. Even with this SOP keeping an eye on things, there are always trouble spots to deal with in the field. Disorderly conduct, disobeying orders, contract violations. We act as backup for the system by monitoring the soldiers. PMC inspections are always carried out on the battlefield. That's why we're authorized to carry and use weapons. We've lost five inspection teams in the past few months alone. They were all undercover, inside Liquid's PMCs. Then, if you got caught... We'd be exterminated like rats. But we're smarter than that. We've been mingling with the PMCs, and after three months of searching God knows how many battlefields, we finally tracked him down. When we reported that we'd found Liquid, our superiors ordered us to provide the UN investigators with intel. <laughs> but I didn't know it'd be you. Didn't the Colonel tell you he was sending me? Colonel? Don't tell me it's Campbell! Yeah. He put you up to this? You didn't know. Uh, you gotta be kidding! You expect me to work with my uncle? Meryl. This is bullshit. He's not my father. violation of the need-to-know role. Then... why are you still calling him uncle? You're still calling him Colonel. He's your father. As far as I'm concerned, we're still uncle and niece. I will never forgive that womanizing piece of shit. Meryl! He, uh... remarried. Really? 
His new wife's about my age. I hear she's even got a kid. It's as if he's given up on making up with his own daughter. Men. Selfish, egotistical pigs. No, no. Commander. What is it? <sighs> There's 20 of them. And they're not from that PMC praying mantis either. It's the Frog. His private troops. Oh, oh crap. This is not good. Oh. Oh. Uh, were you being followed? No. Akiba! Uh, they might have seen the reflection off my scope lens. Wait, 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 hang on. You guys think it was my fault? Oh, 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 no. Oh. It wasn't my fault, I swear. It wasn't my fault. Oh, man. Oh, look, I... What? Dumbass. We're moving out. Meryl, where's Liquid? At a camp up ahead. I'll fill you in later, if we're still alive. Follow me. and get out through the back door on the first floor. We'll change the route as necessary. I'm on point. Stay close. Got it? Got it. Got it. Akiba, breathe deep. Got it. We've got a real live legendary hero with us. Try not to choke. <laughs> Move!
The nanomachine network inside each unit member's body lets us share each other's senses. They can see what I see. And it helps control pain. Is that part of the system, too? With SOP, my team can literally operate as one. Well, except for a certain someone who's not much of a team player. So, what do you think? Is your age of heroes finally over? <laughs> I'm no hero. Never was. Never will be. You haven't changed at all, Snake. But... Your body... Are you gonna be alright? This get-up doubles as a muscle suit. I could still get around. Liquid's camp is up ahead. I'll mark it on your map. Thanks. Akiba! One man's blunder. ...and compromise the whole team. I'm sorry, Commander. Uh. Be careful, Snake. I know where Liquid is. Yeah, I'm confirming the location. It's to the north of where you are. Meryl's really changed, hasn't she, Snake? She's a lot more self-assured. <laughs> I wonder how much of that has to do with the system. The senses you used to develop through extended training and experience can now be obtained without even working for them. Seems once you're under the system's control, you don't even need experience at all. It even beats that VR training that was all the rage a few years back. Yeah. The growing need for PMCs has led to the creation of a more reliable, cost-effective supply of elite soldiers. 
It's also made the child soldier phenomenon more problematic than ever. Can the nanomachines do anything to counteract post-traumatic stress disorder? Good question. They might provide a degree of psychological stability. You think so? That geek kid, Akiba, he was really starting to lose it. And technologically, the system should be able to optimize each soldier's personality traits. And that big guy, he didn't seem to be feeling any pain at all. Augmenting the soldier's existing experience and psychological fortitude. But a soldier's gotta have more than that. The times have changed, Snake. Just like Merrill. <sighs> Snake, hurry to the PMC camp. Based on what Merrill told us, Liquid should be there. <laughs>